The Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte has claimed victory in the country's parliamentary elections. Preliminary results show his centre-right Liberal Party won 41 seats in the 150-member House. Earlier, Dutch Labour leader Derek Sampson conceded defeat with 39 seats. Simon McGregor Wood reports. The results showed two parties dominated this election way ahead of the rest. The right of centre Liberals, a former Prime Minister Mark Rutte. And then on the left of centre, a great success for the Labour Party, led by Diederik Samsom. None of the other parties even came close. And the big loser? The right-winger Gert Wilders, with his calls for the Dutch to walk away from the EU, lost almost half his seats. But it's now that the real negotiations start to build a working coalition. A coalition of the two big centre-ground parties is the most likely. But politically, they speak to very different constituencies. Europe is also closely watching these elections here, because on the one hand side you have François Hollande eh, from France, uh, he's backed by Diederik Samson, and on the other hand side you have Angela Merkel, and he is backed by Mark Rutte. The Liberal Party of the former Prime Minister Mark Rutte is firmly in the German camp. Lots of deficit reduction, lots of austerity. The Labour Party, on the other hand, favours a more social approach, a bit more like the French strategy. The emphasis not on deficit reduction so much as stimulating economic growth. Given the stunning success of the Labour Party, the likely coalition, whatever its eventual makeup, will move this country to the left slightly. But the fears that the Dutch would choose a more radical, anti-European future seem to have been unfounded. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, The Hague.